YouTube, what's going on, man? It's Taz the Reviewer, man. I'm back with another review. This is a 15, top 15 fragrances that I purchased in the year of 2023 that stood out to me the most. Um, of course, I picked up some decants. They won't make the list because I don't, I'm not counting anything that wasn't full bottle worthy. But, uh, man, I got 15 incredible fragrances, man. I'm going to start with this one right here, people, from the house of Initio. Now, this year, I spent a lot of money with Initio, but my money was well spent. Everything I picked up except for, except for Atomic Rose was a good purchase for me. This is Initio's uh, Afro, excuse me, Initio's Absolute Aphrodisiac. This is a vanilla bomb, very, very gourmand vanilla fragrance. Oh my God, man, this smells like vanilla, vanilla bean ice cream. Vanilla bean ice cream with some spicy, some spiciness to it. I mean, it's just very, very gourmand, man. This, is, this, is, this puts you in the mindset of eating some vanilla bean ice cream with some some you know any 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 spices of your choosing sprinkled on top man i mean the gore the vanilla the the realness the authenticness of the vanilla in this fragrance by initio very very uh well job well done so that's my number 15 i'm gonna start putting these ones back on the shelves y'all i'm also gonna i got some clones in here i got some inspired buys I'm going to go to this one right here, people. This is the John Paul Gaultier Elixir. Man, do I got tester strips handy? I do, man. Let's, let's get some of these tester strips on out, man. Man, I'm talking about a fragrance that I believe did very, very good this year. Um, as far as the, uh, the hype around it, I think it lived up to the hype. I remember when I spent the weekend in North Carolina, man, I wore this fragrance every day from Friday to Sunday. It was just that good to me. Went clubbing with it, went to the bar, went out to eat, went to a couple places with my son. I mean, this takes that John Paul Gaultier. It takes the Ultra Mall. It takes that, the, what is the Le Parfum? It takes that DNA and bring it up into like a, um, like a more classier take um, of that, 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 that uh, Cologne house. It makes it very, like it, it, it puts this, Cologne House in a category of the mature man. Still playful, still outgoing, and and very much, you know, um, clubbing-like or bar-like type of fragrance, but it also gives you like that, that maturity where you can wear it to like work, you can wear it anywhere where you're gonna be in a, around a mature audience. I really, really do like this one. This was a very, very good release by John Paul Gaultier. Um, this is the elixir, people. This is the elixir, and this is not the full size. This is only the 2.5. So we're gonna set you back up on the shelf. So next, I gotta go to one of the one of the fragrances I've been mentioning a whole lot this uh, this year, and I I will not stop uh, giving this this fragrance praise because it's just one of the ones that just deserves every bit of praise. This is Angel Share. By Killian, with this fragrance, you get boozy, cinnamon, some spices, some sweetness. This is your gourmand lover's dream. This is date night. This is winter, fall. I would say more so fall. This is I would want to put this fragrance on, on a really really nice cold night. You're going out. You're going to be at, a, at an outside bar. You know I wouldn't go heavy on the sprays because this could become very very cloying no matter what the the weather's like i would do like three sprays at the most and this is also a good fragrance to layer you know with this being so sweet and boozy you i feel like you can also layer this with something that's more so masculine and maybe you know maybe got some some citruses to it or you know offset the booziness and the sweetness with something that's more masculine you get what i'm saying so i do like this one for um the pickup of 2023 this is Angel Share, people. And for the people who don't like Angel Share, you can also go with Latafa Kamra. You know, I just, that didn't make the list, but Latafa Kamra is another one that you can grab for. Um, my next one is going to be from the House of Mancera, people. Uh, this is Vetiver Sensual. 
this was a very, very good buy for me, man. I, I don't have too much experience with vetiver, but with this fragrance, this puts you in the mind of like a manager, a CEO, um, an entrepreneur. This puts you in the mind of a man who's clean, who's, who, who, who cares about his hygiene. This is just a fresh, clean, soapy, um, masculine type of a fragrance. Like this is a very, very good gem from Mansur. If you do not, this to me, I don't care what people say about blind buy. I blind bought this, blind buy this. Take my word, this Vetiver Sensual is just a sexy fragrance for a man, man. Like when you wear this, you're going to feel sexy. You're going to be told you smell sexy. Like there's nothing else to explain to describe this fragrance, but a sexy fragrance. Very clean, soapy, fresh, everyday signature scent worthy. It has vetiver in it, but the vetiver in this fragrance does not give you like the earthy vetiver feel. It's very much mass appealing. Like, I don't know why this is not talked about a lot more by um, the fragrance community, but that's, that's Mancera Vetiver. My next one I'm going to go to is from the house of Zerjov, and I don't hear a lot of people talking about this fragrance for the winter, maybe because it's a, a gourmand fragrance and it's a Zerjov, so a lot, not a lot of people speak about Zerjovs for whatever reason, but I've had countless women put their noses on this fragrance. This is uh, from the Casamirati line. This is Italica. Man, this fragrance puts you in the mindset of a cherry nutty gourmand style of a like a bread like a you know like some type of like cherry muffin or ch you know a cherry muffin with some nuts in it some almond nuts in it some whatever cashew whatever this puts you in the mind of like a cherry nutty cake or or muffin or whatever type of dessert this is a dessert fragrance Man, this stuff is so, so good, y'all. If you like gourmands, you need to pick up Kazumarati Italica by Zerjov. Now, not only that, the uh, the Lyra. Actually, Lyra did make this list. So, I'm going I'm to go to my next one, y'all. From Zerjov again. Kazumarati Lyra. This is another gourmand dream, man. This fragrance right here puts you in the mindset of like... A vanilla, vanilla, <clears throat> vanilla cupcake. This reminds me of like a vanilla cupcake, you know, with the vanilla icing. Very, very uh, gourmand style of a fragrance with this one as well, y'all. Oh my God. I don't know. Not everybody likes sweet fragrances, gourmand fragrances. I do. I've always have from candles to fragrances. Uh, to bakeries, I love to walk into a bakery and just smell all the bakeries, the cookies, the cupcakes, the pies. I like gourmand style fragrances. I like bakeries and, and things of that nature, man. So I don't shy away from fragrances like like uh, uh, Talica and Lyra because if you a if you a ladies man, women like desserts. So if you can walk past or, or be in a room with some women and smell like some type of cupcake or some type of pie or dessert, you're going to grab their attention. You're going to be the man in the room that women are going to remember versus the guy that have a bunch of oud and leather and tobacco on. That, I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying. So that's uh, Lyra by Xerjoff. My next one, I just picked this one up, man, but this became one of my favorite pickups from the uh for 2023 man this is from electimus this is trajan people trajan this is a very very good spin off the baccarat 540 dna let's get a couple of ooh, very nice pressurized atomizer on this one. Oh my god man every time i put my nose on this fragrance it seduces me man it takes that sweet cotton candy style DNA from Baccarat and adds some citruses to this. Very, very, very nice realistic citrus notes in here. That burnt cotton candy still there. 
the long, then it rem hey, remember y'all, this is a parfum. So this fragrance have some longevity with this fragrance. So, you know, very, very nice uh, presentation, nice bottle, very nice atomizer. Get you some nice um, distribution whenever you're spraying this fragrance on. I mean, if you like Baccarat 540, the EDP, but you want to have a different spin to where you want it, you want some citrus added to this fragrance, man, you cannot go wrong with this fragrance. And it's, to me, this, this does not lean feminine. This is a very much unisex fragrance. A man can pull it off. A woman, um, a woman can pull it off. There's no age group on this. I say, that, I mean, I will say, man, if you anywhere from like 17 to like 34, you can pull this off. You know, uh, anybody older than that, man, it just might be too too juvenile, too childish for you. That's just my personal opinion, you know. But um, it does work, and it was a great pickup uh, for the uh, 2023. I, I actually take that back. I don't want to say anything, stuff like that. Who am I to tell somebody what they can wear? But I just feel like with the, the notes in it that it's, it's not the most mature fragrance for somebody in a, up in age. All right, people. So I'm going to go ahead. We're we dwelling it down, man. We're dwelling it down. So... Let's go to a, cl uh, um, a clone or inspired by a house, y'all. This is one of the most, um, I would say this, this clone house has really shocked me and has really put a stamp in my opinion on clones for 2023. And I got to go with Game of Spades. This is Moon by Game of Spades. Now, this is duping or inspired by... Bond number nines, New York Knights. Man, I like New York Knights so much. I went and picked up me the oil for New York Knights. So whenever I have on New York Knights, New York Knights, there you go, y'all, New York Knights. When I have this dupe on, this is a parfum, man. So I get good projection, I get good performance, and it's very much close to that DNA. You get that coffee with that caramel. This is another gourmand style of a fragrance. I'm sorry, y'all. This is I like gourmands. I'm sorry, people. But that coffee and that caramel comes together and makes such a sexy, sexy fragrance. Oh my God, man. Oh my God. This is so nice. I never knew how much coffee and caramel would be such a good blend that I would take a liking into. I never knew that those two notes or chords would have me in some in a trick bag like this, man. Oh my God, this is so good, man. I might wear this tomorrow. And then you spray that on, you spray that Game of Spades moon on, and then you take a couple dabs of this to the wrist or to the back of the neck or wherever. You walking out the house smelling like a million bucks, man. You walking out the house smelling like a million bucks. Let's keep it moving, man. So I'm going to go right here, man. This is a tester from Initio. This is rehab, people. I really, really do like rehab, man. With this being a tester on the back here, I got y'all main notes. You got bergamot, you got lavender, cedarwood, patchouli, sandalwood, and you got some musk. This is another fragrance from Initio. I'm telling y'all. If you don't have many initials in your collection, that is a fragrance house. I do recommend people to sample and put y'all nose on initial fragrances because they blew me out the water this year. Them and Nishane. Oh, my God. The musk in here is so nice. The, 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 the sound of wood in here. The woodiness is it's the, the woodiness is just enough. It's not over. It's not overdoing it in here. But the musk, it got some sweetness to this fragrance as well. Very clean, classy, well put together fragrance. Creamy. This fragrance has some creaminess to it as well. Very creamy. Got some slight woodiness to it. Some cleanness. Man, Initial Rehab is probably my favorite one from the white, the white bottle uh, collection. Uh, I do like this better than Paragon, and I do like this better than, uh, what's the other one, man? What is that on my bottle? Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, Must Therapy, okay? Let's see if we can get that off. Maybe not. All right, okay. Moving along. 
My last one from Initio, man. This is probably going to be my Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day fragrance. This fragrance to me, it just it just put me in the mood of being with somebody that you really like, you really want to impress them, and you really want to end the night off with a bang. This is such a seductive fragrance. This is a very much inviting, intoxicating, pleasing, smoothing, calming, relaxing, sexy. This smells like sex in a bottle. I said this on my other video. Psychedelic love from, from Anisio smells like sex in a bottle. Oh my God, I know I got lavender in here somewhere. Lavender. Gotta have some musk in here, some woodiness, some sweetness. <sighs> Women, y'all can pull this off. This is unisex. But fellas, y'all got a gem with this one, man. Fellas, go sample this. I would say blind by it. It's not many freaks I'm gonna tell you. Blind by this. Go out on a date night with this on. Thank me later. That's Psychedelic Love from Initio, y'all. Psychedelic Love. We're going to keep it moving, man. For all my Lafayette Street lovers. Lafayette Street lovers, people. Game of Space pulled it off with this dupe inspired by. This is Wild Card. I let a woman put her nose on this. You know what she told me? I actually stole that, 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 that term from her. Sex in a bottle. She said this fragrance, Wild Card. Excuse me. The, the Lafayette Street DNA. This is Lafayette Street's DNA in this bottle. She said, this fragrance can make the ugliest guy appear sexy. It just, it just hits you. Like, when you put your nose to this, it's just like, boom. Oh, my God. It just has, like, that fresh laundry sheet smell. This is a very clean, fresh out the shower. You know, this is a this is a signature scent. I wouldn't wear this a lot, though, because the, the, the DNA is very distinct. I wouldn't want to get tired of it, but if I got somebody coming over, I just finished cleaning up, vacuuming, vacuuming, chopping out the shower, lotion down, candles lit, cooking, whatever, drinking, whatever the case, and you put on this Lafayette Street DNA by game number nine, got my game of spades wild card. Oh my gosh, she's going to want to hug you and not let go. Damn, this is sexy, bro. This is a very, very sexy fragrance. Lafayette Street is probably one of the best DNAs that's out there. But from what I'm hearing, the, the, uh, the performance is not all that great. But with this one, you get perform concentration. You get it at a very, very good price. And it, it's, you cannot tell the difference. You will not tell the difference from this and Lafayette Street. With all of these, every last one of them, you cannot tell the difference from them and the OGs. Let's keep it moving, y'all. Let's keep it moving, man. Um, I'm going to go to Tony Iommi. Tony Iommi by Zerjov. Highly underrated fragrance. I mean, with this one, man, you get some creaminess, some leather, some oud. I mean, this fragrance has damn near everything in it. I mean, seriously. Highly complimented fragrance. Um, some caramel in here. I mean, if you don't... this, this And they just come out with a three-point four ounce bottle and i'm mad about that because i only have a small bottle but this i will be getting a backup bottle this is backup bo bottle worthy especially if you're going to get the bigger bottle so i will eventually be picking up the bigger bottle of this one this is a very very underrated fragrance from zerjoff y'all i love this fragrance a whole whole lot all right man i gotta get down to my last few ones my last three this is a fragrance. Y'all see my reaction, man. It's a priceless reaction. This is from Mason uh, Francis Kirkjohn. This is Grand Suor. Man, you talking about an amber and vanilla bomb. Amber, the amber and vanilla in this fragrance is done like no other. This is a very, very good fragrance. Signature scent worthy. All seasons, except summer. I wouldn't put us off in the summer. But spring, fall, winter, Grand Soir. Man, this is sexy. Man, this is, uh, this is another cologne house that I will be spending a lot of time with next year. Um, I'm going to be picking up the um, Oud Satin Mood 
extract fire fragrance in the Baccarat 540 extract. So man, if y'all haven't sampled this one, put your nose on it. Get your nose on it. My last two fragrances, I'm gonna do them together, man, because we at 20 minutes and I don't want to keep y'all no longer than I have to. You got Nishan A Nefs, Nishan A Manor. You got a ooze, rose based fragrance with everything from honey, vanilla in it. You got Manna, which is a leather. And what else does this have? I think this is like a sweet leather fragrance. I don't have the notes on the top of my head. But this is the, listen, fight me if you want to. This is the best leather fragrance on the market, hands down. I walked into the uh, truck driver station with this on. The woman at the cashier was like, I can smell you coming through the door. What do you have on? I said, I got, a, I got this cologne on from a cologne house called Nishanese Man. It's a leather-based fragrance. She said, oh, my God, you smell so good. She smelled me coming through the door. This fragrance, you don't need no more than two sprays. The leather in this fragrance is so sweet. I've never thought I would smell a sweet leather. Man, I'm, I'm listen, I almost want to say I like this better than Neff's. I've had Shim. I decanted Shim. Didn't like it. Man, you talking about a masculine, sweet leather fragrance. You got it with manna. Nefs, a lot of people know about this one. Man, this is very nice, man. I got, this is my most complimented fragrance up to date. Like, I had got like four or five compliments in one day. Powdery, rose, oud, sweet. Everything you can name. This fragrance, it's, it's probably nothing in this, there's, Everything that is in this fragrance, basically what I'm trying to say. There's nothing that's left out. This fragrance has everything. I'm at 22 minutes, man. I can't keep y'all no longer, man. That's 15 fragrances that I picked up this year. And some that I left out, man. I, I could only do 15. I couldn't do 20, man. Man, it's been a hell of a year for fragrance, man, for fragrances. It's been a hell of a year for me and my YouTube journey. I started this YouTube channel uh, September of 2023. So, man, I'm very, very thankful for all the support I get, man. All the people I've met, the comments, the engagements. I love this community. This community is awesome. Everyone seems so genuine. Hardly, hardly ever any negative comments or feedbacks. Man, I really do appreciate y'all, man. Y'all have a great Christmas. I still will be dropping videos, man, but for the people who's, not, who's only going to be here for this video, y'all have a great Christmas, man. Have a happy new year, man. And... Get ready for 2024, man, to see what the fragrance community is going to bring us. I'll see y'all next time. All right, peace.